So the living sea walls address the growing but often underappreciated role of construction on the loss of marine biodiversity. Where we build, we destroy the natural habitats and biodiversity is important for so many reasons, right? They actually underpin all the services we need in terms of water quality, climate regulation. So when we lose that, we are really threatening our own survival. So the Living Sea Walls is really based on 20 years of research. And the whole idea is to reintroduce some of the microhabitats that we are missing from these infrastructures back into those. So the panels, they mimic natural features of our habitats like rock pools and crevices. So we, we have now 10 panel designs and each one is designed as one type of habitat that it's fairly common, not only in Sydney Harbour, but in Australia in general. Yeah, it has been amazing, actually. We found that after two years, we have up to 30% more species on the living seawalls compared to the unmodified seawalls. And in some cases, the biodiversity is even bigger than the natural rocky shores around the area. It's really encouraging. So we now have 10 sites in Sydney Harbour. We have living seawalls in Perth, Townsville, Adelaide, internationally in Singapore, Gibraltar, Wales, Plymouth. So the idea is to test those panels in greater number of different environments and, and different places to see what we get.